Godzilla's not trustworthy anymore. A massive titan once uh, lost to be a huge humanity made landfall in Pensacola, Florida. This film starts after three man. years since the last encounter here. with the titan. Turn in a lot of cases that he knew Why we don't know. Godzilla, you were there with Mom. You saw it. Creatures like people can change. And right now, Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people, and we don't know why. You know what I'm talking about. This sort of leading Team Godzilla in the film. The character does have a curse. Immensely since Godzilla came to monsters, she's fighting for something she believes in very strongly, which is that Godzilla is on our side. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. Why else would Godzilla flash an intimidation display? I think one of the most exciting things about doing a Godzilla movie is being able to take a different approach to Godzilla in the same way that the original films did. The legendary approach has always been sort of that Godzilla's a good guy. You know, he's misunderstood, but he's a good guy. He sort of is this benevolent, constant, you know, protector of the earth. The opening apex sequence anyway, was an opportunity to kind of go back and say, well, this is our first bad we'll Godzilla. It. There's a reoccurring motif in this movie of Godzilla sort of being equatable to Jaws. So the the right beginning thing, of the film, you know, we wanted to treat it more like Jaws approaching the shore. No, no, everywhere. No, no, no. Let me meet. Absolute favorite thing that I was always looking forward to in the movies was Godzilla using his breath. I just thought that was the coolest thing every time you get to see it. And oh, so sleep. I ended up pushing that yeah. a lot in this movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Life is a joke. Oh, no. It's a game. Brian Terry plays a really play. fun character in the film named Bernie Hayes, who's a uh, bit of a conspiracy theorist. For five years, I've been myself inside this company trying to figure out what their game was. And then, boom! Godzilla shows up. Anyway, I think the thing I like about Bernie now. is that even though he is a conspiracy theorist, he's not necessarily wrong. I mean, most he of the things that he mentions actually become true, no matter case, how though. insane we're they done. are. And Brian Tyree Henry really got we're that from the cage. get go. I mean, come on, this is page one of the Apex Play Down Handbook. Huh? I mean, old buddy here. The Illuminati might have set up a communist yeah, so well, 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 in case any of these governments and mega corporations. Yeah, I'll laugh at everything, okay? Like, Just keep that in mind. Makes sense if you can. Uh, yeah. Nobody. Anything. Benny is kind of this crazy. Take that one to the bank. That's about it. He's just crazy. He's a champion for mankind. You know, there's something. His heart is so big. He's so lovable, but at the same time, everyone looks at him Take as care, a crap And hey, growing a second head could be useful for me. You'll have to let me know, because me myself, I can barely handle the corner guy. Everyone thinks that he's a little bit kooky. Everybody thinks that he's a little bit not right. You know, that cousin you have in your family, like, oh, he can't get right. But honestly, he never moves through life without his intentions be being in the viewers. All right, man. I promise Try you. Try to wrap him up. The trio of uh, Madison, Josh, and Bernie, they're all very distinct personalities, but there's a dynamic between them and a rapport that's been great Take to care. watch. They're Peace an amazing out. team. They work really well together. They complement each other.